Hey Water Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your Thursday, January 10th, 2019 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You guys know the drill. First row is you. Second row is the person you're dealing with. Third row is the outcome. That was quick. All right, your guys' first card out, Two of Wands in Reverse. Second card, King of Swords. Third card, Ten of Wands in Reverse. The person you are dealing with has the Three of Wands in Reverse. The Six of Cups. The Three of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. And the Nine of Swords also came out. So we will uh, equal out the energy and get you guys two more cards. There's one of them. The King of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands in Reverse. The outcome for you guys for Thursday is the Two of Cups, the Magician, and the Page of Wands. The shared energy between the two of you are the Five of Cups in Reverse, clarified by the Page of Swords, and the Six of Swords in Reverse. Next card under is the World Ending Big Major Life Cycles um, in your life right now. Let's start with your bottom of the deck energy. You guys are getting over some heartache of the past. Um, a uh, situation that you really were holding out for that really drained you in the process could have been some immature communication. Um, somebody that didn't know how to act like an adult when it came to problems, they chose to walk away and run instead of stick around and work things out. Um, this is somebody who doesn't like confrontation, somebody that would rather uh, walk away than to um, deal with their um, inconsistencies, their insecurities. And, uh, yeah, and you, you are getting over the heartache of them walking out, walking away. Um, you could still be keeping a close eye on what they're up to, what they're doing, um, because you still have a lot of feelings for this person. You have really gone within, you have come to a point where, you know, you're at a crossroads, you know, that there's a choice you have to make. And you knew the only way to find the answer that was right for you was to go within. You have come to a decision. You have um, seen the truth the best way you uh, know how. And you are going to um, take action uh, with whatever it is that you were awakened to. This relationship has held a lot of weight on you. Um, you felt like you were responsible for keeping this relationship together. And um, you're holding off letting it end even though um, you feel very defeated, very uh, just deflated. You feel like you can't give much more. Um, there are two people in your energy that you have um, wanting to have a relationship with you. One earth sign, one air sign here. One being very stable, one being a man of action um, or woman. But it's time to find your stability again. It's time to find uh, your own solid legs to stand on instead of um, waiting on this person. Why is the King of Swords? Thank you. Yeah, Page of Rods. You could be getting a very quick message um, from somebody, but uh, most importantly, this is divine timing. Somebody who is destined to step into your life right now of the air sign nature, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, they are meant to come into your life to help you put down this uh, burden of this relationship, to help you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. They're going to be very stable, very loving, committed, um, and bring you lots of happiness. This can be the same person. They can be very stable and yet take action in their life. They're accountable for what they do, which is very big for somebody. But this person is destined to come in and bring you happiness, but you have to allow it in. Um, you can't be blocking out love due to this relationship that you um, are getting over now. Yeah, they. this is somebody that's at a distance from you. They're going to move closer to you emotionally, physically, and there's going to be a lot of success with this person. This is also somebody that's very well known in their community, um, very successful in a business, uh, has a very good head on their shoulders, and you're going to realize very quickly that this is your true soulmate coming in. This person um, is what you had wished for. You could have been praying um, to your angels to please bring in true love in my life. Please bring me someone who truly is meant for me. And your prayers are being answered and your soulmate is arriving in style. This is going to be a cause of celebration for you. 
This is going to be a very happy moment. This is not a third party situation. This is pure love, joy, and celebration um, for finally getting to finally being in a relationship in your life that is fulfilling. That is what you wanted. Whoa. Queen of Pentacles. Now we got the king and the queen. This is most definitely a soulmate. This is somebody that is going to be loving and nurturing and want to love and nurture you, the relationship, the family, the business, everything. This is a very positive relationship coming your direction. But first you have to let go of that, completely let go of that relationship of the past that um, financially drained you, that emotionally drained you, that you invested in for years. Yeah, there's a king of swords now. Twice now, king of swords. Um, it's time to take action, to move away from this energy, to cut yourself away from this situation that has tied you down for far too long. Use that sword of truth and cut away from that energy. Release it. And I do see you doing that with the nine of swords here in reverse. No longer um, putting so much thought um, and worry into it and no longer feeling trapped by this situation. No longer feeling bound to this person. You're realizing that this person is an adult. They can take care of themselves. And you are cutting yourself away from that so that you can follow your own heart. You're no longer feeling guilty about leaving. And you are going with the relationship that you manifested. You brought this soulmate into your life um, by asking your angels, asking God, asking source, whoever it is that you pray to, to please bring you in true love. Please bring me in somebody who really loves me. And you manifested this person into your life. And it's going to be so happy for you. So joyful. So true love. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups. You are manifesting this person into your life that has unconditional love for you, that follows their heart, but yet uh, keeps, they're very family oriented. They, they, everything they do is in love. They, all their intentions are that of the purest um, sort because this person is going to truly, honestly love you. They are your soulmate. This is the happy, um, happily ever after relationship. Of course, there's going to be work involved. Every relationship takes work. But it's something that you don't mind working on. Um, this is going to come to you after you take a step back, after you put yourself in that tree and heal. Heal from this broken relationship of the past. Um, allow yourself to fully um, rejuvenate so that you can contribute to this relationship when they come towards you. This is coming in very fast, very quickly. You could um, be just meeting this person or getting a message from this person today. Or in the next couple of days, energy is fluid, we know. Why is the page of wands here? But this is going to be a very passionate um, relationship. Um, yeah, you just have to, yeah, no need to worry about this because this is divine timing. The page of rods for me or wands is always divine timing. It is here for you. It is now meant for you to be in this relationship. Um, you're no longer worrying about it, anxiety. Um, feeling like you're tied to somebody, you're breaking free out of that energy and divine timing is here bringing you in your soulmate. Very amazing reading for you, Water Signs, um, for Thursday, January 10th. It's about time. You guys deserve this. One card of advice for our Water Signs for Thursday. You guys have been through so much shit. Oh, and you've got the Page of Wands twice. Most definitely this is divine timing and then look what just fell out calling in your soulmate, asking for that person. Uh, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This most definitely is a beautiful union. This most definitely is a soulmate that you have manifested into your reality that is coming in for you. Cut yourself away from that energy of the past. Heal from that relationship because you have real love here waiting for you, knocking on your door, um, remember to be playful, recapture romance by letting your inner youthful spirit to shine. Don't let the heaviness of past relationships bring you down because you have true love here for you guys. Most amazing read of the day by far. Um, that's going to bring you so much happiness, so much love, so much joy, and it's all going to be real. You can count on this. You can hang your hat on this one because it is here for you. You guys have worked hard to, uh, to get this relationship. You guys have waited quite some time, been through some shitty relationships to try to get to this one, and it is here for you now. So enjoy it.
Um, it's going to be beautiful. So, all right, water signs, have a great day. I wish you all love, light, and God bless.